Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on reports in Noxternal. When you're finished scoring a study, you generally want to generate a report. This is easily accomplished by going to the reports section and selecting the report that you desire. Noxternal will run that report and attach it to the current study. Noxternal allows you to create new reports or modify the default reports by going to the reports section again and this time selecting Manage Reports. Here you will see a list of all of the current reports on the system. There are a number of default reports. These cannot be edited, renamed, or deleted. They will always be there. But you can create a new report based on any of these reports. In this case, we'll select the respiration report and then create a new report based on that respiration report. We will be able to name that report and then create it. Once the report is opened for editing, you will see that we are in a standard Microsoft Word format. We can easily add items to the list, say here in the patient information section, we want to add gender. Type in the word that you want in one of the table fields, click on the field where you want the information to appear, and then we can go to the right and search for that field code. Double click on the field code you will see that a dash will be added to the table section where you want the data to appear. We can also modify any of the tables that are existing in the system. Say that we go to the respiration section and we don't want to report on hyperventilation. We can just click to highlight that line and then right click to delete that table row and now we have removed hypoventilation from the report. When we're finished with this, click Save and Close, and the report has permanently been modified and is available to be printed from any patient record. In order to start a report from scratch, you would again click on Reports, Manage Reports, and then simply click on New. We can name a brand new report, and click Create. This will bring up a blank template with no information at all in it. We do have some shortcuts called Report Parts that are over on the right hand side by the Fields section. Any of these sections can be added just by double clicking. Say that we want to add information on our patient, double click and it will add that graph. We want recording information, double click, and it will add that graph. We can add a report title, double click. We can take that just like in any Word format, right click, cut, go to the top of the page and create some space, and then paste it. All of these functions are the same as any Microsoft Word application. We can also insert a new table. Click to insert a table. For this table, we'll just make the example two columns and three rows. We will allow it to auto fit to the page width and we will include a header section. In the header section, we'll name this table recording notes. And the data that we are going to include will be the technician, who they were, and the technician notes. If we want the title to cover the whole thing, again, using Microsoft Conventions, click and drag across, right click, and then merge those table cells. So now recording notes is only one. For your technician, click in the field where you want the information to appear, go to fields and search for tech, double click on technician name and you will see the dash is inserted. 
Click on the next field for technician notes. Double click on technician notes from your field codes and it will insert that. We can also highlight all of these again, right click, and change our fonts down to the size that we want. When we are finished with our table, we can save it as a report part. If you click to open the report parts section, then click and highlight the entire table, and then drag that to your report parts. It will ask you to name the new table, and it will allow you to put it in a section that you want. We can have general, we can have interpretation notes. In this case, we will leave it in the general field. Click OK. Now that we have saved the recording notes table as a report part, we could add that to any new report that we create or modify. All we would have to do is click elsewhere in the record, go back to our general section, and we see that we have our recording notes as an option. Double click and it will insert that same table that we just created. When we are finished creating this report, click on Save, give the report a name, and say OK. Now close, and if we open a patient recording, Go to Reports. We will see now that My Respiration Report and the test report that we just created are now options. If we click to run the My Respiration Report, it will run and it will include all of the data, including gender, that we just edited this report to. Thank you for your time, and I hope that this tutorial is helpful.